Hi, everyone. I'm Sal Vitale, uh, Executive Director of Honey Vic Productions, uh, and i uh, pleased tonight to, uh, to have a discussion uh, with, with these four individuals that you see here, Jared Glenn, uh, Shailene Mulgrave, Brandon Kim, and Wanda Hall. And, and we're going to be talking about our project uh, that we've recently concluded on Shaking the Tree. Now, Shaking the Tree was the second act of a play called Accelerating Change that we at Honeybeck Productions uh, staged in June of, of 2019. Uh, with the pandemic, we've been off stage and we realized uh, about uh, eight months into the pandemic that the second act of that play uh, was one that uh, might go, might do well in a virtual performance. So we decided to give it a try. Uh, and uh, uh, we were grateful that uh, Jared, uh, Shailene, and Brandon uh, agreed to, to work with us on this project. Uh, Brandon, who, who was uh, reprising his role that he uh, did on stage for us uh, in, in that, that particular act of, of accelerating change. So we're going to talk a little bit about, about, the, um, uh, about shaking the tree. And, and about the experience that we all had in doing that. So, so, so um, uh, Jared, why don't you start us off? Uh, you, you've done a lot of, of stage performance. Uh, what was it like to do a, a virtual performance? Well, I can say that it, it wasn't my first foray in the virtual performance, but it was the first one that was uh, as labor intensive emotionally. And I found it interesting to stretch different muscles of my of my toolbox to uh, work inside this this box here, and I, I'm used to being very physical and using the stage, using all the space, and engaging with people physically. I'm a big guy. And I'm used to using my my frame to try to convey what I'm doing, and now I had to rely a lot more on my face and my voice. It was a challenge that was necessary and fun to explore the character while also not really being able to move from this chair. Uh, that, that's a that's a very interesting perspective, and and uh, and I hope when folks look at the uh, at the performance, they'll see how well you succeeded in uh, in, in making that transition. Uh, Shailene, had, uh, you had a virtual experience before this one, and, and what was it like? No, this was my first virtual experience. Um, I was actually very excited. I was very excited and um, eager to work on this. Um, it was something new, something challenging. Um, considering all that's going on, I think it was great to be able to connect with people and um, still get that theater feel, although we're not on an actual stage. It still felt very similar. Um, it was a great experience. Very different, but a great experience. Yeah, yes. Uh, and you know, one of the things that, uh, that we had uh, to, to work out with you in particular was uh, coming in and out of the scenes. Uh, that was uh, that was an interesting perspective. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and and something that uh, took us a little while to get right, but I think that uh, that, that you did uh, quite well with that. Thank you. Now, Brandon, you uh, uh, you as I said earlier, you uh, did the role of Uncle uh, on stage, uh, and then uh, agreed to do it for us again here in, in the virtual. Uh, shaking the tree. Uh, what was what was the, the experience like? Uh, it was interesting, to say the least. Um, it was really fun doing it in person on stage, and it was really difficult to sort of kind of, I guess, take a notch down and be on just in a box, I guess, like Jared said. So, um, yeah, it, it kind of makes you kind of makes you really like kind of miss and kind of love and hold on to those experiences that we ha that we've all had where you've gone on a musical and you feel that energy in a room where folks are like they're everyone's doing something and it's just kind of like a like an electricity, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it was it was interesting doing it virtual just as is everything is doing uh, just as it's like having meetings for the day job is, you know, learning. We're all just learning. Uh, I don't think it's, it's not meant to be. Um, yeah. It's not meant to be the same experience as it was in person. Um, and I'm 
beginning to be okay with that. It's not <laughs> fun. It's not as fun as in person, I will say. This now, now one of the things so that, much fun that, in person. What, one of the things that you brought to it, Brandon, that uh, that was interesting, um, uh, you know, Jared pointed out the, the difficulty of, of, uh, of, of acting in the box and, and, and not being physical about it. But you, you it brought in a few things that were physical and that, uh, you know, in terms of like, yeah. like getting up and moving around uh, the room a little bit, uh, you know, what spurred you to do that? Yeah, um, just living through that moment, knowing that like we were on stage and trying to honestly put upstage downstage right stage in my bedroom was what made me do that <laughs> trying to get some life into it you know? yeah that, that that was pretty cool um i guess shailene yeah. you had a little bit of that too having to come in and out of scenes um you know um you know <laughs> more you know where jared's character was was, was pretty much stationary mm -hmm. um so you experienced that too shailene didn't you yeah, it's it was um more challenging uh, more challenging than being on stage, of course, because you want to make sure okay, my angles correctly, the camera is it focused right? Am I getting my shot? Are, are, you know, are they able to see this movement? Does this work out better? Um, but it worked out. It worked out, and um, of course, with practice, we were able to figure things out to be able to convey a, a very strong and positive message. Yeah, that's great. Uh, yeah, that's great. Good. Now, Wanda, you know, this was your play, right, that, that, that you wrote uh, and, and uh, directed the play on stage. Uh, but the experience of directing it uh, uh, in, in a virtual performance must have been a lot different. Um, it was. Um, it was exciting, um, challenging, trying to figure out you know, um, when to take a chance and has, have, for example, Shailene come back in with stuff, you know, as opposed to just sitting in front of the camera. Um, so it was um, exciting. It was scary. Um, a little frustrating sometimes because we did have some moments where the audio would get a little, you know, uh, squiggly and we had to figure out how to, how to get past that. Um, but all is a pretty, it was a pretty exciting experience to do that and to think that we were actually breathing life into this play in a different way uh, was pretty cool, yeah. Now, did it help uh, alleviate some of the frustration for, for not being on, getting a play on stage in 2020? Um, you mean, would, uh, does this replace that desire to be back on the stage? <laughs> um, I don't think it could replace it, but I mean, did it alleviate any of that frustration? Like the director's frustration, I guess. Of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of frustration. Yeah, um, it was. It was. It was frustrating in in that trying to figure it out, you know. Um, but what was actually pretty cool is that I I was very comfortable with 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 Jared, Shailene, and Brandon and what they were bringing to the table. So in in that sense, it wasn't as frustrating as being on you know we were on the stage, um, but. Um, it was it was a challenge, an exciting challenge. I should right, say. and I was very happy with the results of, of it. So, oh, good. Yeah. Now, now, um, at you know, one of our our primary missions uh, in in setting up Honey Bick Productions, at Wanda and I, um, at, at the, you know, are the are the co partners in this, um, uh, was to um, uh, develop a platform. Um, that uh, would help make some change in, in uh, societal issues, uh, uh, maybe just one step at a time. And um, as you know, this was the second act of, a, of the play called Accelerating Change, um, that um, you know, we hope that we're continuing to do that. Um, so I'd, I'd like to talk a little bit about that and, and get the perspectives of, of our actors um, uh, on accelerating change, perhaps uh, as it as it relates to um, some uh, current projects you may be working on, uh, Jared, and any thoughts on that? Uh, to, your first, to your first point about uh, the role of accelerating change towards accelerating change, I think we all bring our best skills to bear, however we can, in trying to make a positive effect on the world. Some people can be 
politicians, they'd be doctors, whatever. And we make art, we tell stories. And if history tells us anything is that the stories that we tell matter. They are the, for a lot of people, the accounts that they have of what happened in the past. So I think people going through what we're going through right now, especially as people of color, to be a part of storytelling is an important documentation of what our life experiences are. Uh, and also the life that we give to Wanda's words. All of that stuff to me matters. Uh, I'm working on co-writing a play about the, the uh, iconic meeting between James Baldwin and Robert F. Kennedy in 63, where they were intending on trying to find a way to create a positive change environment. The meeting infamously did not go as well as they may have hoped when they arrived, but they took a step forward no matter how hard it is to do. And I think as long as you keep taking steps forward in whatever way you can, then that you're, you're doing the right thing. You're helping accelerate change. And that's I'm not trying to be ironic when I say that. <laughs> right, right. I mean, and it, it is rather remarkable. So this is a, a meeting in 1963, which would make it nearly 60 years ago uh, that that meeting happened, um, you know, based upon your knowledge of what was going on back then, do you think we've made progress? Uh, progress is relative. So uh, yes, in a structural in a structural sense, but I think we've got some. I think if the last four years have shown us anything, is that we've got more work to do from a social uh, a social standpoint. I think the things may have changed, but they can only change as much as the people change. And the people, as we've shown, as we've seen, have not changed as much as we'd hoped or would, would like to see. One thing Robert F. Kennedy did say in that meeting, though, or prior to that meeting, that in, in 40 years we might see, you know, one day a black man may be president. He did call that one. Yeah. Almost to the, to, almost to the month. He did call that one. But yeah, it, it, it's a, uh, we still got some work to do with with and for each other in trying to fix that. Right. Well, I'm, I'm the only one uh, sitting here right now uh, among the five of us who's old enough to, uh, to, to remember that time. Uh, in history, and and it was a very volatile time uh, th through the whole of the 1960s, um, uh, for for many many reasons, uh, not the least of which was the uh, uh, the racial unrest uh, uh, and change that was going on in the 60s. Uh, and I, I'd say that that we have come uh, a, a ways, um, uh, but it is more like uh, you know, two steps forward, one step back sometimes. Uh, and perhaps we've taken a, a step back uh, in the last couple of years and, and hopefully we are gonna now start taking steps forward. Uh, and so it'll be interesting to, 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 uh, to see that uh, play. I'm looking forward to, to hearing more about it, Jared. And, uh, and uh, so uh, Shailene, um, and any thoughts that you have about accelerating change and, and some things that are happening in, in your world related to that? Well, it's something that's happening in all of our world, and that's this um, pandemic that's unfortunately not slowing down. Um, I do work for the state health department, so I'm currently working with contact tracing just to help reduce the spread of COVID-19, as well as getting people um, vaccinated and you know providing any resources. Um, for people that may need it, whether it's housing, food, um, transportation, insurance, things of that sort. And hopefully that'll be, you know, on, on the path in the right direction, you know, to just, so we don't have to, we can one day just be together and, <laughs> and not have to put on production. I mean, you know, this is great, but just for us to be able to be together again and, and fully enjoy things the way that we once did. Yeah, yeah, that, that certainly is a, uh, is, is a big uh, is a, a big aim for all of us. I think is uh, uh, just to get back to some sense of normal normalcy. Yeah, uh, Brandon, how about you? I, uh, I know you've got your podcast project going. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that and uh, um, maybe some something about an acting uh, gig you're working on and how it relates to change? Uh, yeah, um, I loved accelerating change because the script was unique and I think it was really cool just watching the journey of this young woman kind of 
find out about her history. Um, and that's sort of, that's also what, that's what my podcast is about as well. It's actually about people's journeys. Um, but yeah, accelerating change is great because it was unique and it, um, I think we need more female protagonists. We need more works with black female protagonists, strong black female, um, like protagonist characters. Um, yeah. Um, it's different and that pushes the bar. I think um, my podcast is different and pushes the bar for other podcasts and talking about, you know, people's journeys. Um, aside from that, um, I'm also moving into a space where I'll be mentoring some students um, around the country who've, I guess, decided to reach out to me because of some of the spots that I've had for um this 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 podcast um a group of people have reached out to me and it was called black podcast and it's a it's a larger company and they link up other podcasters together it's really nice and podcasters and podcast companies um shout outs to my sponsor uh sippy streams um but yeah aside from that um just getting back into acting i'm working on getting my sag card now um fully like out there and like visible and on all the interwebs sites that I needed to be on um because that's always a fun process especially now during the COVID days where you have folks you can't really do in-person auditions and stuff anymore um yeah aside aside from that um yeah like my so my podcast original co-host, his name is Malik, he's a videographer, wanted to start um, a space where artists can come and record their own podcast. And um, we have two people who've been like gracious enough to just kind of like, you know, just go through our program and just kind of learn. So if, if um, there are folks out there who are listening to this, who just in general want, you know, advice on how to get started in um, the videography and podcast world. Um, uh, yeah, uh, hit us up la at Last Stop on the D on Instagram. Um, yeah, uh, I can't, uh, yeah, um, it's, it's, it's been interesting as an artist though, obviously. We're gonna come out of this COVID time and I'm just kind of waiting for that. So it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be, there's still gonna be a lot of things happening my um my youngest brother was recently diagnosed with bipolar disorder and that's kind of changed the way my family kind of looks at a lot of scenarios including the current pandemic that we have so um yeah it's it's um it, it, those are the things i'd like to promote but also like it's going to be interesting to see what more we can we can we can gain and glean and learn from the data i think that we've all kind of put together from this last year and a half i think um yeah that's it's going to be interesting it's it's going to be this next month this next 30 days 30 to 60 days yeah uh that's that's great brandon i hope uh you know i wish uh, you and your family well i hope your brother uh, uh manages well uh, with with his uh, his diagnosis um you know, wanda uh i know obviously i know you're you're uh, working on a new play um uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about that or uh, any other thoughts about uh, about this whole concept of accelerating change uh you're muted one one of the challenges of doing things virtually you're muted you can't see um <laughs> You know, um, so the whole idea with accelerating change is just that, you know, I kind of got to a point in my life where I realized that, you know, I wanted to do something, you know, I couldn't do something in a very, very big way, but I could do something in a small way. And that's kind of where the concept came from, is that each person can do something um, to accelerate change um, and to make the world a better place. So, so I kind of come at it from that perspective. Um, the play that I'm working on now that we wanted to put on, um, uh, was it last year? I forget. I lose track. Yeah, of time. last October we were scheduled. <laughs> it's interesting because the, the play was actually um, titled "America on Trial," and the play is really about a lot of what's actually happening now and how um, you know um, in underserved communities um, or poor people, um, the way that they're impacted by the various things is, in my opinion, not fear. 
not fair rather, and, I, and the play is really taking the perspective that the United States does have a responsibility in that. And so um, that's what the new play is about that didn't go on the stage. Um, but what we are doing now, as you know, until we can get back on the stage, is doing some more virtual, smaller virtual projects. And we have recently just started a series called Mama Did What? Um, and it's sort, of a, it's sort of a series that we're gonna use to actually kind of be our, our political commentary and things that are going on in the world at the moment. Uh, so we had one, one, um, uh, one series or one show about Mama, who I play with the blue wig, who doesn't want to wear a mask. Uh, we then had another series um, where they're having a conversation about you know, the impeachment trial. Does it make sense to have one? Uh, and then we had another series where two characters are talking about you know, why were um, the protesters or the, the people that stormed the Capitol, why were they treated differently than the Black Lives Matter protesters? Um, so uh, that, that project I think is gonna be pretty cool and it's really gonna be our way of having, you know, kind of starting conversations about the things that are really happening out there in the real world. So that's kind of what accelerating change uh, is for me. Yeah, and I think one thing that uh, Wanda didn't mention is that that project, uh, Mama, Mama Did What, uh, is, is improv. And, um, you know, we, well, we, we talk about the topics with the actors uh, b before we, we start recording. It is totally improv. And uh, it, it took us uh, 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 oh, five or six uh, tries and, until we really got it going well and and uh you know doing improv virtually was <laughs> was a double challenge i think uh, um well that's great you know um uh you know just um to 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 tell everyone who's who's watching tonight you know we, we're talking about the play accelerating change uh but just briefly uh you know it it uh uh it, it was a four act play uh, that that followed uh, two families, uh, a, a slave family and a slave owning family through four generations uh, from the uh, 1860s and 1930s and 1960s into the present day uh, in, in the four acts. Um, and uh, it was very well received. And um, we, uh, we hope to put it on again uh, within the next couple of years. And, um, uh, and maybe with some, uh, some new reflections on, on what, uh, uh, what things are like today. Um, so uh, with that, would, would anyone like to make any final comments uh, about, uh, about what it's been like uh, working on this project? Sure, I'll, I'll have, uh, I think that, uh, Sometimes in times of struggle, historically, great art is usually a beautiful, unfortunate byproduct. So I'm hoping that if, you know, if the, the Spanish flu and, the, and the, uh, the Black Plague were any indicator, you know, one led to the greatest, the Renaissance, and the other led to the Roaring Twenties, I'm hoping that people like us will be, be part of the accelerant to put out some really great art uh, in spite of social circumstances around us, you know, our, our, especially the history of African Americans, most of our artwork has been during a mid uh, a mid struggle. So I hope that you know people keep at, at the top of their mind and know that sometimes you know you might be doing it for something greater than yourself. And we're leaving out we're leaving around our own form of documentation of what will you know when our children's children history books are written, they're gonna be wondering what the hell this was like. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be our, our our art that helps tell them some of the story the same way Richard Wright and James Baldwin and Truman Capote told us the story about what was happening uh, in there you know when when they were coming up I think it's it's you know it's important to keep that documentation so uh, not to overstate our our role but it's also to say that we matter more than we might think so I'm excited to see more of what Wanda puts out and all of us I'm just excited for what all of us can do under these circumstances, because you'll find out a lot about yourself when you put under this kind of pressure. I think that's uh, uh, probably couldn't wrap this up any better than than uh, and with that, Jared. I think is a, a really great way of uh, uh, of putting a concluding note on, on our discussion. So, so for those of you um, who are who are uh, hopefully have made it uh, to the end of this, 
if you haven't <laughs> watched uh, Shaking the Tree on online, please do so. Check it out. Um, Go watch check, it right check now. Check it out. Uh, you know, the links will be here in our, at the end of the video to the website and the YouTube channel. Um, leave, leave us comments. Right uh, but, uh, you know, look for, for Brandon's uh, um, uh, podcasts. And we'll be looking forward to Jared's plays, uh, play coming up shortly, hopefully. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so thank you all, and good night. Thank you so much for having us. Bye. Last stop on the D and Instagram. <laughs>